So in the next couple sessions, my focus was beginning to introduce changes of direction while circling. And there are two primary ways that we introduce this when we're starting a horse at Liberty. One is we do something called a reverse switch and the other is a front switch. So in this video, I'm gonna outline exactly how both of those work and how they began for Libra and I. So a reverse switch is when you're circling the horse around you to the left and to change directions, you turn hard to the right and follow your whips with your feet around as you swing away from the horse and then hook your whips back around so that you're sending the horse now around you to the right in the new direction. And this can create a lovely dance and really help increase the horse's draw towards you, uh, especially long term as you develop this exercise. But of course, in the beginning here with Limra, she's more hesitant and so she stops her feet as I'm turning. And we tend to introduce reverse switches as the first exercise or first change of direction that we really practice because it does help build the horse's confidence and draw. Now my challenge with Limra is when I first attempted reverse switches, particularly walking reverse switches as I'm doing here, she would leave when I tried to make it into the other eye and circle in the other direction. Sometimes she'd canter away or trot away and sometimes she'd just meander away and walk as she does here. And so my solution became just doing repeated reverse switches at the standstill because what I discovered is it was the sound and the movement of the whips dragging on the ground that was making her very nervous. You can see there she swings away from me. And so I would just swing the whips around and come to the other side of her body rub on her shoulder, make her feel comfortable, and then repeat, swing the whips around, reverse switch at a standstill, reach out and rub on her. And you see that time as opposed to swinging totally away, she just took a couple steps back. Same thing that time, she just took a couple steps back, she's still staying connected. And so by repeating this over and over again, I've started to gain her confidence more with that reverse switch away and with the end of the whips dragging on the ground. And over time then, I was able to start to be able to, as I did there, perform a reverse switch and just have her stop and stand and not leave me as I changed from circling to one side to circling to the other. Um, so that was an excellent moment there where she was hesitant, she stopped, but she still did come in to me. Now, when she did leave during a reverse switch that was less successful, um, or got a little spunky there with how she threw around her front feet, my main thing was I would just control the direction as I did in those first couple sessions, maybe send her up into Trotter Tolt there. She wanted to come in and I always made sure that I invited her in on my terms by catching the eye and blocking with my body language. Um, so that like here, I caught the eye and would draw her in and go back to circling in the direction that I had been originally working her in. Um, so it's not that she wasn't still leaving me at moments, but we began to work on more complex maneuvers such as these changes of direction and continue to work on our circles. It was in our fourth session together that I began to feel that Limra was truly connecting with me more consistently and not seeking to avoid our conversations as much. Um, and you can see that in this clip, this is right at the beginning of the session and she's still distracted, she's eating some hay, but when I ask her to connect, when I ask her to draw towards me as I am here, it takes a moment, granted, but her choice then, as I ask, is to begin to draw towards me in circle um, as opposed to just leave. And yes, it's not perfect, but she does pivot around and doesn't just depart our conversation when I cue her. And of course, we continued our work with the reverse switches and they started to improve. You can see here I'm circling to the left and I really work on drawing her towards my back as I do the reverse switch 
and she does shift back, take one or two steps back, and then circle, but she's not leaving anymore in those reverse switches. And in this one here, I was able to do a reverse switch and she hesitated but didn't actually step back and drew to me much more fluidly on the new circle. So we made improvements here in this session. So the strange thing with Limra is most horses follow a progression where front switches or changes of direction on the circle where you bring the whips in front of the horse's body as I do there and then turn onto the new circle are generally speaking more challenging. A lot of horses are more hesitant about the whips coming in between you and them. But with Limbra, she actually seemed to be more comfortable in the front switches. And so when I tried them in this session, she actually did several switching from right to left and left to right circles um, with quite a bit of success. And of course, as in the reverse switches, she's a little hesitant. You can see there she hesitates. She even takes a step back before we start flowing into the new circle. You'll see it again here. She takes a couple steps back as I bring the whips in front of my body for that front switch. And as we begin to curve around to the left here, she's still not drawing fluidly towards me. But overall, I was pleasantly surprised with her accepting these front switches so soon in our sessions.